Okay. All right, so say again, what have you learned about marriage and relationships that you would use to give advice to young couples? No, I have to think of what I <laughs> You said um, never go to bed angry. Oh, yeah, never go to bed angry. Always work things out before, before you go to sleep. And uh, always listen and... Uh, don't criticize and show love uh, in various different ways, like put a note in their lunch bucket, mm -hmm. <laughs> or uh, just express your love that you your love for for one another, and uh, never criticize. If you do, do it in a, a good way. I mean, uh, a loving way. Don't don't don't. Oh, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Uh, well, anyway, uh, and I always support him in his uh, ideas and his his uh, ambition. If he has ambition, always support him. Never be negative about things, and always say that you love one another. And, uh, you, you said too that you always got up and oh yeah, always made his breakfast and yeah. lunch. Saw him off to work. Yeah. I think that's nice. Yeah, I always did. I I never stayed. I was the first one up, and I'd have his breakfast ready for him and and make that, and then I'd pack his lunch. He used to like to carry his lunch, and so I'd have that ready for him, and then uh, he always gave me a kiss before he left for work and. And then uh, I always tried to be there when, when it was time for him to come home. So it was a, that was sort of our pattern, you know, we just kept that up over the years. Uh, was there any aspect of your marriage that you didn't expect? Was there anything that surprised you about marriage? Uh, oh, I just can't think of anything. That's okay. <laughs> no, we knew when we got married that he would be going into the uh, army and that we would be separated for a while. But uh, we knew that when we got married. But it was uh, it was nice when they got back home, you know. That was... So were you living by yourself when he was gone? Uh, I was living with, uh, with his parents for a while. Oh, okay. And then... Uh, uh, then I went home to live with my parents, and that's when our when Kelly was born. I was oh. uh, I was living in, with my parents at that time, and so then uh, his parents moved out to the West Coast, and and uh, Dad always said that he would never go back to Wisconsin to live after he got out of the service because he liked the Northwest so much because mm -hmm. he worked here at Boeing before he went into the service for a year, and he just loved the Northwest. <clears throat> so, when his parents decided to, they were they were going to leave uh, Milwaukee and go to California. But then, uh, uh, his dad got a job in Seattle, so that they decided, well, if we if we were going to live there in Seattle, that they would move to Seattle instead of going to California. Hmm. So then they moved out, and then uh, uh, he was just about ready to be uh, discharged from the army, so then, then I moved out with them for a while until he was discharged. And then we got our own place, our own house. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's, I think that's about, uh, yeah, we, right, after, right after he got home, we, we uh, got our own place. How did you buy your own place? Did you have to save money? Did you do something to earn the money, or did you? No, when when Dad was overseas, he saved his money, and he was a great oh. he was a great barter. He liked to trade, so he'd buy oh. things from some of the soldiers, you know. And he didn't smoke at that time, so was, you know a lot of the soldiers smoked. So when they got their their uh, cigarette rations, uh huh, uh, oh. He would always sell his rations uh -huh. and get money, and uh, 
and he just uh, did a lot of bartering. Well, I don't know where, where he got these things to barter <laughs> with, but he was, he was saving his money so when he got home that we could oh. have a house. And so then we had to get a small loan from his parents for a down payment, but uh -huh. we had enough to, to buy us a house after he got back. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, how did you choose my dad's name? Peter. Oh, well, uh, that's interesting because uh, we were thinking of different names and I, I said, well, I like the name Peter. And I said, I have a grandfather named Peter. And so uh, that's... And we both agreed that Peter was a good name, so we just decided to, to name him Peter. I didn't know you had a grandpa named Peter. Yeah, Peter, <laughs> that was my mother's father's name, okay. Peter. Okay. And I, li I like the name. So that's how he got his name. Very cool. Um, did you have any jobs while you were raising your children? Uh... <clears throat> Well, when we first got married, I, I uh, we, we were living in Chicago at that time, and uh, I went to work for Montgomery Wards uh, as a bookkeeper, and worked there until he was transferred. And Dad was transferred to to Florida, and then of course I had to give up the job, and then I I followed him down in to Florida and was with him down there for a while, and then I worked in a uh, I worked at Sears in the uh, lingerie department, <laughs> and they had, I had uh, some flannel pajamas, and I was very my, I was very allergic to oh. to lint, you know, and I, it just I was always rubbing my nose, and I remember that so well. But anyway, <laughs> I was there, and that was in Miami uh, Beach, Florida, and then he was transferred up to. Uh, Camp Murphy, right near Palm Beach, and uh, so then uh, I went. I got a job in Palm Beach, also at a women's dry goods store, oh. and this was run by uh, there was a Jewish fellow that was the owner, and I I always remember that because uh, uh, whenever we didn't somebody come in to buy something, do you want to quit? Yeah. Whenever somebody came in to buy something and they didn't, we didn't make the sale, he'd run over to us and ask us why we didn't sell that for I'll uh -huh. never forget that. <laughs> that was my first run-in with, with an employer. Uh -oh. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. <laughs> so then, uh, of course, after, after he left and went overseas, and that's when I was pregnant then, and I, I was with, living with his folks at that time. And uh, I was working in the bank in the Whitefish Bay. That's where they lived at that time. And uh, I was working for the secretary for the president of the bank. And I worked for him, worked with him for about uh, four or five months, I guess. Then I did. That's when I decided to go home to my house and to my mother. And uh -huh. But those are the only jobs. And then uh, after I came out here to to, to uh, Washington to wait for him to be discharge from the Army. I was working, uh, I went to work at uh, the bank in Seattle and worked there for a while. But then that was the end of my career. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I had several jobs here and there. Uh, after you had kids, did you ever have time to yourself? After did I you, had what? After you had your children, did you oh, ever have any time to yourself? Never. You, never? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting because our family I had the first two, Kelly and, and Pam, and then there was uh, seven years between Pam and Craig. So I was just getting the, the first kids raised, uh -huh. and then Craig came along. And then five years later, Becky was born and Peter was born two years. So it was kind of like I had three families to start uh -huh. bringing. So I was, I was always busy. Oh. I never had time for myself, oh. never. <laughs> That was, that was quite a large family to, to provide for. Were you able to have any hobbies or activities, or was it just taking care of the family? Well, most of it was family, taking care of families. But I did like to garden and uh, uh, 
sew, right? I think that was about it. Did you sew? I sewed, yeah. I, not a lot, but uh, I did sew for myself too. And But uh, Dad, Grandpa's mother was a wonderful seamstress, so she used to make clothes for the, the, the for, for Pam mostly at that time. But so I didn't do much sewing for the kids, but mm -hmm. I did sew for myself. Do you remember what my dad looked like when he was a baby? What he did what? Do you remember what my dad looked like when he was a baby? Oh, he was a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> we actually just looked at some pictures of him as a baby when I was home this last time. He was yeah, cute. <laughs> he was a cute baby. And I, I think he was a good baby because I can't remember anything bad about him. But he was loved, you know, because uh, Pammy was old enough to, to take care of him. Uh -huh. And, uh, and uh, it was, he was born at a good time. What was he like when he was a child? He was good. He was a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have any favorite activities you remember, or toys, or? Oh, uh, Peter? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he had, uh, well let's see, I'm trying to think. Well, I don't know about toys, but I know he liked to, to play sports, and uh, he liked to swim. We had a pool, and he liked oh, to yeah. go swimming. And uh, Dad taught him to swim by just letting him hang on to his back, and then he'd <laughs> take him underwater, and then he, you know, that's how he learned to swim, it's on his dad's back, right? Yeah. He did, dad, my dad did that to us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember holding on to his back, yeah. and he would dive in and out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's he did funny. play uh, baseball in a little league, and he got to be on the, uh, what do they call the advanced team? Uh, oh, uh, I don't the know. The All-Stars. He got to play on the All-Stars. Oh. And uh, he never played football in school. I don't know if he was playing tennis. He liked to play golf. I think he took up golf when he was in high school. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, can't remember. Uh, did you ever have an idea of what career my dad would have? No, really, I was surprised. <laughs> I thought he'd just go into business because that's what he was majoring in at in, in BYU. And then when he decided to go into business for himself, I thought, oh my goodness. <laughs> but he didn't want to be stuck in an office somewhere. He wanted to be outdoors and be his own boss. So that was quite an adventure for him and his friend. When they started up, they operated out of our house. They had their office in my... Oh, in, they did? In Peter's bedroom. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, and, huh. and that's where they got started. And then, uh, I guess that's... Then, of course, that they broke up their, their uh, partnership, and then Peter really was well ahead of what mm -hmm. he had expected, I think, because he's got quite a business going now. Did my dad ever get into trouble when he was a kid or a teenager? Travel. We used to take trips, you know, uh, car trips, go camping, and uh, I'm trying to, with the three families, I can't, I can't <laughs> categorize what oh, we were okay. doing at his time. Uh, you can just talk about, yeah, what you did with your kids. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time we went up to, to, we came up to Spokane, Washington for the World's Fair. Oh. And we had the orange uh, van at that time. You've heard about the yeah. orange van. Yeah, Inga. Didn't Inga, or is that the same one that Inga's family had? And then, I, I don't know if she got the exact one, or is it just... Yeah, the, it's exactly the one. Oh, they really? Got, they got it from us. And... Uh, yeah, that orange van. So we had that orange van when we drove up here, and I remember we pulled into Spokane, or where it's, maybe we were just outside of Spokane, and it was it was uh, too early to get uh, a room, so we just pulled up to a, a car, a, what do you call it, drive-in or rest stop, uh -huh. and we Dad and I slept on the on the uh, in the back of that van, and Peter was on the I don't know if he was between us, I guess. Uh, but he was kind of growing up by that time. <laughs> but it was a, 
Anyway, we took that trip up, up for that, and that was a nice trip. Uh, I was Becky, and Becky had to be with us, I'm sure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. I'll have to look at some of the pictures and see if she was with us. Was my dad ever a troublemaker? No, I can't think of any. No. <laughs> Not like his uh, one brother. <laughs> <laughs> um... What did you think when my parents first announced that they were getting married? Oh, we couldn't have been happier. We were so thrilled to think that he was going to marry Tracy because <laughs> we just loved her. Aww. And of course, Dad was gone by that time. And so uh, I was really happy too for her. And we just loved Tracy. But we were hoping that uh, you know he would, they would get together. <laughs> Because well, he would, he had gone on his mission, you know, and and uh, we weren't sure if that if he'd still. I don't know if he met her after he got that. I think no, I think they met when my mom was fifteen and he was sixteen. Yeah. At a church dance. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, we were. I was very happy that he he chose Tracy. <laughs> was he the last one to be married? Was everyone else married by then? Who? Where were all the other kids married by then? Uh, I think they were, were they? Yes, they were all married by that time. So he was your last one? Yes. Do you remember anything about their wedding? Oh, it was very special because they were married in the temple. That was very, very special. And then uh, uh, your, your great-grandma, she, she arranged for the reception, uh, the food, and oh. the, yeah, because she was working at the hotel, I guess, That's right. and she was able to get a lot of different things, you know, uh, the setup for the tables and things, you know, for the uh -huh. buffet, uh -huh. and, and then uh, uh, what was uh, your mother's, your grandmother's husband, what was his name? Uh, Art? Art, yeah. He, he arranged to get, uh, have a fish, I think, a, a smoked fish. Oh. A focus, smoked salmon or something. Did he smoke? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> but anyway, it was a special, a special buffet that we had. Very nice. Yeah. And we had it in our backyard, so that made it nice and... That's right. Yeah, it was very lovely. Uh, when was the first time that you saw me? Were they living with you when I was born? Oh no, they were living in Utah, right? Yeah, but then they moved and they came and lived with me for when? a while. But you were still... Uh, a I know they moved when I was six weeks old, I think. Yeah. And did they come right to your house and yes, live with you? Yes, they came right to my house and they were with me for... Oh, I don't know how long before they got their own place. I don't either. Was I, I think I was like one or one and a half or yeah, something. Yeah, could be. Something like that. But that was fun to have you in the, in the, <laughs> in the house, a baby. <laughs> <laughs> had you had anyone else live with you that had a baby or was no. I the first? <laughs> no, you were the first. <laughs> <sighs> well, yeah, my mom told me that you were the one that showed us how, or that, yeah, showed us how to jiggle the legs and say pat a cake pat oh, a cake and yeah, yeah. baker's man bake me a cake as fast as you can roll it and toss it up in the air <laughs> which is different but she said she learned it from you will yeah. really likes it do you remember doing anything with me when i was living at your house when he was at our house uh-huh when i was at your house uh, i don't remember no. it <laughs> Let's see. He was nice to have around. Both of them were nice to have around. And he probably helped a little bit around the house too, you know, because we had a big yard and had the pool and right. things like that. So he was a helper, I'm sure. Well, I think my dad learned a lot about taking care of a yard from you guys since you had a big yard and yeah. a nice yard. Yeah. So I think that's why he liked landscaping so much, probably. 